welcome back everyone, Toyshas here with a little something special courtesy of my friends over at Mondo Toys. We have the exclusive first in hand looks, thoughts for their brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles soft vinyl toy line. They will be kicking all of this off with the first two turtle bros, Donatello and Leonardo. Each will come with their own respective weapon and will feature a more exaggerated take on the turtle toys of the past, namely the original Playmates action figures, allowing them to feel right at home in your soft vinyl collections. Now, what is a soft vinyl, you say? Well, these aren't action figures first and foremost. They are a hollow toy figure made of a soft PVC. In a way, you could kind of call them Sofubi turtles as well, but there are different parameters for each designated style. The style of soft vinyl is more of a simplistic approach, minimal articulation, exaggerated proportions, conversational art piece through and through, and with Mondo's prior offerings, they are definitely no stranger to the world of soft vinyl. So with all of that in mind, let's take a look at these turtles. First and foremost, Leonardo comes with his two katanas, and the first thing that I immediately thought of were the original Playmates Leonardo swords. I broke a number of those over the years. I definitely know this sculpt, this layout, and I like the simplistic paint on it really works, as well as the slice marks within the blade, which means, yeah, he's been carving up some foot soldiers. And yes, you will get two of these. They're more exaggerated, very long blades, but they definitely look cool. And with Leonardo himself, yes, very much hearkening back to that Playmates Toys Varner Studios sculpt with the gritted teeth. I particularly like that slice down his eye. That is doing something different with a style that we know and love, but really making it all their own. It looks a little bit more adult in that sense, and I dig it for that. Soft vinyl through and through. Everything has a nice soft touch to it, but it's all very sturdy PVC, and I like that with some weapon storage on the back in true Leonardo fashion. The paint on the entirety of the toy looks amazing. It's really well done, as you would typically see with something from Mondo. The belt with the giant L, the knee pads, the shading within the darker green of Leonardo's color, down to his toenails, you see Mondo on the bottom along with 2024 Viacom. So again, very simplistic, especially now in the articulation, but everything is very well painted and that's always a plus when you want to have something interesting for TMNT on your shelf. You will get some simplistic rotation in the head. The arms will simply just go up with some wrist. That's a nice little additive touch. And then you have the legs, which will kind of sort of move. Again, we're not going for full articulation here. It's more of that simplistic soft vinyl styling. When it comes to the swords, like I said, he has weapon storage on the back for both of his katanas, and those look nice in place. And when displaying him, however you choose, on your shelf. Honestly, he does look good either standing there with or without his blades, but I gotta tell you, with the blades, that's pretty cool. Now, I will agree, they're a little bit long in some cases, but they still look pretty cool, and again, in that whole exaggerated nature that these are going for, yeah, I would say Leonardo is definitely very cool. In terms of Donatello, now he comes with his bow staff. Again, more in that exaggerated kind of cartoony style where it's not gonna be exact proportions to a bow staff, and they very much elongate the ends, which I kinda dig. It's very much a different look for Donatello's bow staff. It comes apart, as we've seen many other companies do for Donatello's staff, especially when you wanna institute the weapon storage. Donatello will have a different shade, again, kind of harkening back to the whole Playmates toys where each of the turtles were given a different color. Donatello's and Leonardo's coloring, as you'll soon see, is very reminiscent, of which I immediately thought, oh, they kind of just recreated that, but it's a little bit different, but again, much like Leonardo, same sort of articulation with the weapon storage in the back. And again, having the bow staff come apart makes it really easy for instituting that Donatello weapon storage. And like I said, with Leonardo, now to Donatello as the first offerings in this new soft vinyl line. Whether or not you really want to pose him out, as for as many poses as you can really get out of these, but again, more of a conversational art piece, something that just looks good on your shelf. And now one nitpick I would honestly say is that the bow staff looks a little bit too short, perhaps a way to elongate it in some sense, because 
When you have it in certain angles, sure, it's fine, but when holding it, it looks entirely too small. When you have Leonardo's larger katanas, Donatello staff in hand, sure, that looks great, but in other angles, I would say Leonardo definitely fares better in the whole weapon proportionality. Donatello still looks good, but that is definitely something that I would like to see changed, maybe have a different elongated bow staff for handheld poses. When thinking about these soft vinyl turtles, yes, there are offerings across the board for many years i'm sure even in your own collection now you have something soft vinyl these have a different feel to the whole playmates offerings and these are definitely going to be considered more on the higher end but not too crazy high i would say in the world of soft vinyl especially with what usually they go for i think that's a nice medium to fall for a price range. Now, in terms of the Playmates toys, just to kind of show you the differences here, and then also the scaling, you have the original Playmates Varner Studios TMNT mixed with these new Mondo Soft Vinyls. Again, the coloring, kind of harkens back to Playmates, really gives you that, oh yeah, I remember that. That kind of looks fairly close, but at the same time being something new. So in the totality of things, if you're an action figure collector, these may not be for you, but if you're a soft vinyl maniac, these might be right up your alley. So that'll wrap it up for my early look at the brand new Mondo Toys TMNT soft vinyl toys. And again, thank you to my friends over at Mondo for having me do this early exclusive first look. Overall, I'll tell you honestly, I'm a huge Ninja Turtle fan, a huge Ninja Turtle collector. These are not necessarily something that I would go after. I am more of an action figure collector through and through, but I'll tell you, if you're more into the soft vinyl category, Japanese, Sofubi, or better yet, you're completely new to collecting TMNT in general, and you just want something cool for your shelves in your nerd room. Yes, I would say that these will be right up your alley, especially with the price point that they are offering and with the promise that they will be completing the four turtle bros and maybe you'll see something very cool coming soon so you've heard my thoughts now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything soft vinyl tmnt and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember stay tuned i'm headed to licensing con in las vegas so it should be a grand time for all and hopefully we'll see some really cool new toys and such to talk about when we do let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.